Hey everybody, it's me Henry. Today we're gonna talk about how to build foresight. Let's get started. Now, many people may ask, how am I gonna see my future? How am I gonna predict my future? And one day, when you see the man or your friend change job or make any major decision, and five years later, and you see, wow, he or she make a huge success, change a lot, getting better. So at this moment, most people they will say, wow, you are like God. You can predict your future. You can see your future. You make the right decision. Good on you. And next question, people will ask, is foresight? Born? Now, not really. According to American futurist Daniel Bruce and the best-selling author John David Mann, who specializes in business, leadership, and success, say in the book *Flash Foresight*, foresight is a skill that can be developed, refined, and strengthened. As long as you develop the right habits, you can predict the future more accurately. He doesn't say that there are three major ways to have foresight. If you master them, you can have a more accurate perception of the future. So, what are those three methods? The first method: master the certainty. Well, we often set our own limits and focus on what we don't know and cannot do. Well, you should get into the habit of starting with certainty and listing the things you already know and can do it. Don't trap yourself in a cage where you can't do it. Whenever you encounter something that is uncertain, hold on, put aside and focus on the things that you can be sure of. How do we find the things you can be sure of? In fact, there are ways to follow because everything changes according to certain patterns. First, we can find certainty through two significant changes. Now, the first one, cycle changes. Cycle changes tell us many different certainties. For example, it is autumn in the northern hemisphere. We can confidently predict that spring will come within. Next six months, nature is full of periodic changes, changing season, weather changes, and etc. Economics and politics also have cycles. The economy is sometimes prosperous and sometimes sluggish, and politics is sometimes radical and sometimes conservative. If you grasp it at the right time, you'll be successful in the end. So we gotta understand the cycle. Next, linear change. If you want to cultivate keen foresight, you need to understand another kind of certainty. A kind of change is that completely different from periodic changes. This mode of change is not cyclical. It doesn't cyclically go back and forth, but only develops in a single direction. We call it linear change. Example: from the aging of people to the matters of the country. It is a one-way linear change trend, and it never repeats. To a large extent, foresight is to recognize linear changes and discover the laws of them and periodic changes. Secondly, if we want to find out exactly how things change, we must learn to distinguish between the hard trends and soft trends. Hard trends refer to future facts that will happen based on measurable, tangible evidence. A soft trend, by contrast, is something that only may happen in the future. Maybe you can identify a soft trend through research and analysis. But part of the nature of a soft trend is it is susceptible to changing circumstances. Just like 20 years later. You'll be 20 years older. This is a hot trend because the phenomenon of old age cannot be changed. Is your physical condition getting better or worse, or maintaining the status quo? No one can promise. No one can be hundred percent sure. This is a soft trend because you can take action to change. In a nutshell, this is the power of vision. 
you can find hot trends. You can see the future. If you find soft trends, you can build the future. The second method, insights. As the saying goes, when there's a crisis, there's a turning point. But this sentence is not necessarily true, because when a crisis occurs, it is usually too late. How can there be a turnaround? Therefore, we must learn to actively change from the inside, find the opportunities, and take preemptive actions, mainly through the three steps of stop, look, and listen. To complete, stop, put aside the problems, make up your mind to set aside time for self-training, and become an insightful person. Look, predict the future. Ask yourself, what problems would I face? What problems do not exist today but come up in the next three or six months? What problems will appear in one year, three years, or even ten years later? These problems are what you want to solve. Do just solve the current problems. If you want to be one step ahead of others, there is no other way than to solve tomorrow's problems today. In other words, the problem would not arise at all if you were able to prevent the potential falls. Listen, listen to your intuition about the future problems and the possible solutions. The clue may be outside of your sight to the future. As you learn more about predicting the future and your inspirational vision becomes stronger, you can hear more clues. The third method. When the current efforts do not help, we must learn to change. For example, the invention of phone is a revolution in the communication industry, with letters and telegrams as the mainstay. Change means doing something completely different than others. We must change before the trend changes. No matter what field we are in, we need to change, whether we like it or not. Every profession, career. Enterprise or organization will inevitably undergo dramatic qualitative changes and be completely transformed in the next few years. No matter what occupation you are in, you will face this challenge. No job is future-proof at all. So, how to build the foresight within ourselves and keep providing extra values? The answer is. Master the certainty, insights, and change. That's all for the sharing today. If you find values and like this video, please consider to hit the subscribe button and turn on all the notifications so that you're not gonna miss out any video just like this from this channel. And most importantly, leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. I would love to read your comment and reply to your comment. And I hope to see you in the next video.